Hey Bridge, welcome to Wednesday. We've got a little fun activity. This is the hook for our next unit. We're gonna start our unit on expressions. Um, if you'd like to have a scratch piece of paper handy, please feel free to do that. You can get it from your notes if you'd like, or you can open up a new tab. There's gonna be a homework assignment that is just gonna kind of follow this. Um, the homework assignment looks kind of like this. I may change it uh, by then. Um, but basically, I'm just going to have you fill this out as we go, and I'm going to ask you to record your uh, responses wherever they may be. All right. Uh, so again, this is our fun little day. It's called Bucky the Badger. Oh my gosh, this guy is an interesting dude. First of all, bridge of the day, any guesses? The Donghai Bridge in China. All right. So this is the first thing that I want to show you. PowerPoint, the link is down there. Uh, we're also going to do it in class. Anyway, this is for anyone who's absent, basically. Um, so how does it work? Again, uh, these are the points scored as it goes. So this is, you know, they score seven points, and Bucky does seven push-ups. So far, he's done seven push-ups. But they score another three more points. Well, now the scoreboard says ten, so Bucky is going to do ten push-ups. Therefore, the previous seven and the 10 that he just did gives him a total, a running total of 17 push-ups. Seven more points go on the board. Now the, uh, you know, now he's got 17 on the board. Now he does 17 push-ups. 17 plus 17 gives you a running total of 34 push-ups that he has done so far in the game, all right? Uh, why is it not working? There you go. So in your notebook, I want you to write down a number that is too low. What is a number that is too low and a number that is too high? We're just taking a guess, all right? So why is that number too low? We'll give a number of push-ups you know is too low. Okay, obviously zero push-ups. He did more than zero push-ups. So put a number above zero. Uh, a number that's too high. Obviously we live in the real world where physics happens and your body gives out after a billion jillion push-ups. So don't put infinity push-ups, all right? Um, give a number that is too low and a number that is too high and justify your answers, all right? So be able to give a little explanation. And then my other question is, how many push-ups did Bucky have to do? Is there only one answer? Again, these are just estimations, they're guesses, so get, get your thoughts moving. What else do we need to know? We're going to talk about this in class as well, but if you were not here, what else do you need to know? I mean... I don't know about you, but I don't know how football works super well. I don't really, it's not my favorite sport, but I know something about how it's scored. We may need to know how is football scored. Uh, we may need to know how did Wisconsin score? You know, did they get all touchdowns? Did they get uh, touchdowns, but without the little field goal thing where you get that extra point? Again, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Um, what other question? Oh, does the order of points scored matter? So one thing you want to know is that you could get, why is that not work? Uh, you can get three points for a field goal, a field goal, and you can get seven points if you make that touchdown with the field goal. So basically you can either score three or seven. That's as basic as we're going to handle it in this uh activity. I'm sure there's more rules, but you could score, you could score three points or you could score seven points. All right. 
So that's a little bit about how football is scored. What about Wisconsin's actual score? We know that they scored 83 points. That was from the video. And we also know, I'm gonna give you this piece of information, that Wisconsin scored only field goals and touchdowns. So they only scored three points at a time or seven points at a time, all right? And then overall, at the end of the game, that added up to our total of 83 points. So I'm asking you, how do you get to 83, all right? What's one possible combination of scores that would give you 83 points? I'm gonna give you a couple examples, but I do want you to try and find one on your own. Again, they only scored seven point touchdowns and three point field goals. So if, here's one combination. In the game, what if they scored eight touchdowns and seven field goals? How many total points would that be? Okay, each touchdown is seven points. So eight times seven is 56. Each field goal is three points. So nine times three is 27. Adding those together gives you a total of 83 points. That is one possible combination. I want you to pause and try and find another possible combination for these uh, points. Another combination might be 11 touchdowns and two field goals. Again, seven points per touchdown. So 11 times seven is 77. Two times three is six. Adding those together gives you 83. Another possible combination, two touchdowns, 23 field goals. 2 times 7, 14. 23 field goals at 3 points apiece is 69. Adding those together gives you 83. So there's a lot of different ways that Wisconsin could have gotten to that 83 if they only scored 7-point uh, touchdowns and 3-point field, field, field goals. All right? So you can either use one of these combinations or you can write your own. All right? And again, that's also in the little paper, in the uh, little work, worksheet handout for today in Google Classroom. My next question is, does the order in which Wisconsin scores affect Bucky's total push-ups? Take a second, make a guess, write it down in your notes, put it in that little paper that I'm gonna look at and check off. So, does the order matter? Let's say, again, this isn't a, this is an example, it's not a total of 83 points, but let's say that they scored seven, uh, touchdown, touchdown, field goal, field goal. So, if that was the order that they scored. Oh my goodness, this is a crazy video. I got, I got a call. Anyway, okay. <laughs> so, running score is seven. <laughs> I really hope this video worked. Uh, running score is seven, scored seven points, seven points on the board. Bucky did seven push ups. Uh, the next score is seven, therefore, the score is now 14. Bucky does another 14 push ups. Seven plus 14 means he's done a total of 21 push ups throughout the game so far. Continuing with this idea, now they only score a field goal, therefore his running score, there's 17 points on the board, that means Bucky does another 17 push-ups, 21 plus that 17, now he's done 38 push-ups throughout the game, that's a lot, you get the idea, right? So, if we put our scores this way, 7733, he would have done 58 push-ups so far. Again, this is just an example, it's not the combination that we're talking about, 58 is still a lot. What if I switch that order? What if I did 3-3-7-7, three, three, seven, seven, okay? So now the field goals were first and then the touchdowns. So here's three, he did three push-ups, three push-ups. Another score of three. Now the scoreboard says six, so Bucky does six push-ups. That means that three plus six is nine. He's done nine total push-ups. Again, following that same logic, we have done 42 push-ups at the end. It's the same type of scores, two touchdowns, two field goals, two touchdowns, two field goals, but we ended up with a different total of push-ups. Why? Take a second, think about why, and I want you to put in your own words, why, right down here. Why does the order matter? Anyway, that's about it, all right? If you're having problems with the why, whoops, uh, go back. If you're having problems with the why, let me know. I like to think about it, this is my words, not yours, right? I like to think about it as there's some smaller numbers towards the end when we're trying to count for everything, right? There's smaller numbers toward the end, so I'm adding a whole bunch of larger numbers more times, okay? 
But here we're adding the smaller numbers first. That's not really going to give you a boost in push-ups versus if you had to add a whole bunch of large numbers at the end. So that's the way I think about it. Probably not the best way to put it in words right now, but again, give it an idea, give it a thought. Thank you guys for joining me if you were absent. All right, bye.